Hello everybody. So today I'm going to introduce you to the update. I've been teasing this on Twitter for the last week or so and I want to show you what it does. First of all, I decided to get rid of the easy mesh word before all the functions because it was just a bit difficult to see what was going on. So now the easy mesh button stays as it is. But now we have half it, mask it, slice it, and a new button called clean mesh, and I'll explain what that does later on. Um, basically, it does what it was doing before. It remeshes fine, it halves fine, it masks as it was before, and does the slicing. But the new mask it function now kind of covers hard edges because that was requested, and I tried to figure out a way of getting that done. So I've got two subtools here. I've got a complex shape which has got sharp and round edges. And I've got to walk through for some other functions later on. So let's just get into it. So I've got my mask already laid out. It's about 600,000, nearly 700,000 polygons. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to set it to 2K. I'm always going to set it to 2K because you need the polygon count to be as low as possible to get the edges as sharp as you like them. I'm going to, I'm going to as you can see, it's already dynameshed. And I'm gonna hold down Alt and press the mask button. And let's let it run through the steps it's gonna take. And then you end up with this. Wow. So as you can see, it keeps the sharp edges and it also retains the circle at the bottom. Um, and if you wanna half it, you can just do as you would before. Um, press the half button and you reduce the number of polygons because this is a circular shape you know if you half it too much you'll start pinching after some time but it should be fine on flat shapes um, so as you can see the geometry is pretty clean keeps the poly groups edges are sharp and you know everything's cool let's go to the next one which is the um, walkthrough this is another shape I did, and I'm just gonna walk through how it works or what happened with this one, because sometimes when you're masking, you're not always gonna get the, sharp edge, the, sh the sharpest edges because of the way you either drew the mask or your, polygons, your polygon count was quite low. So what I tried to do was find a solution that wouldn't take too long to fix. So I'm gonna run through the same process on the timeline here. So it goes through, you get the sharp, you get the, um, the zero mesh model. But if you look in the corners, you get this diagonal piece here. The other side is fine, but this isn't. So what we're going to do, what I did for this was quickly, I did a, a hit, I did a click, control shift click on, on here between the two lines. And I did a control W to get that as a poly group. And I did the same for the second one. And then all you need to do after that is press clean mesh and it will basically fix it. So now you have what the result you had before. So if your mask isn't as sharp as you want it to be, I would suggest if you have any of these diagonal lines, if you, if it doesn't work for your, you know, for your case, um basically just click control shift click between both poly groups and control W and do the same for the other side and then use clean mesh and you will get the result you want. I wanted to also test out what would happen if you wanted to use mesh for modeling. So I did a quick um, Z modeling thing with it. So I went to, I halved it a few times and then um, went to the Z model brush to check some things out. So I did an inset. Let me just get the Z model brush up. So I first did an inset, um, which is here, and polygroup all inset region. And I kind of like extruded it in then I use the point tool to stitch them together. So I stitched that point together, that other point together. So we get a clean edge for extrusion. I did it for all the corners. When I did that, I basically went to um, Q mesh and then I Q mesh that. Then I deleted these edges here because I don't want there to be extra edges I don't need. And then I creased the corners and I creased um, yeah, I crease the corners and I crease the top. So now you have an extrusion with clean edges 
which you can use for you know whatever you need and that's from that mask something else I want to mention is when you first start the easy remesh tool you don't have to double click on the resolution anymore it works first time um, that's thanks to Flory and Jonas who reached out to me on our station I'm going to stick a link in the description to his YouTube channel um, where he's got his own set of tools he made for ZBrush they're free and they're awesome so if you do buy them please leave him a tip um, so the tool is kind of there I'm gonna find some ways to improve it as, I, as we go along and it's also on sale on our station 10% off so if you haven't got it go get it if you already have it the update will be on there for free um, and I hope you find it useful for your hard surface prototyping modeling whatever you need to do as always I am on all the social network places and I will catch you later.